Hey you guys and gals, Barnell here with another video on our beginners tips and tricks for Anno. Today what we're going to be talking about is influence. So influence, what exactly is it? Well influence is how you buy ships, it's how you purchase island shares, it's how you settle on islands, it's how you build your trade unions, your town halls, your harbor masters, it's how you build all of your zoo modules, your museum modules, and your botanical garden modules. It's also how uh, you use propaganda to make your citizens either like you or work harder or maybe revolt depending on how far uh, you take it. So in the beginning, you start off with about 125 influence, okay? Uh, give or take. So this island was already settled for us, so it might have been a little bit more than this. So how do we gain more influence? So gaining more influence is kind of easy in the beginning. All you have to do is gain more population. You can see our global population here says 444 out of 800. Once it reaches 800, we will gain 20 more influence. So that's awesome. Uh, influence from population you can see up here at the top. Uh, and influence from inv investors you can see as well, which is zero. And that's something that we will also discuss. Okay, so again, the first things that we really have to do here... Uh, for our influence would just be to increase the population. So increasing the population is kind of easy in the beginning, right? You just keep building houses, you upgrade the people to workers, then to your artisans, then to your engineers. Once you get to your engineer level, though, you start to unlock a new way of gaining influence. So notice I have an engineer here. If I upgrade this resident, let's take a look and see what happens to our influence. Our influence increases when we upgrade to investors. So late game, when you really need a lot of influence, it's pretty awesome to upgrade your engineers to investors. Investors give you a lot of influence. Now, this is also true as you grow your investor towers. So as soon as you unlock the skyscraper stuff, uh, as you keep upgrading them, you will gain more influence as well. Not as much, but again, you will gain influence from it. Now let's discuss propaganda. So you're going to constantly see the newspaper being published and asking you if you want to do propaganda on here. Now, personal opinion is that I don't typically use propaganda on the newspaper at all. I, I feel personally like it's a waste. I know there's a lot of people out there that do use propaganda a lot and force their people to work harder and, and to like them uh, with all their influence, and that's, that's great. Uh, I just have a different play style where I typically will just let the newspapers auto-publish, and I don't touch these at all. What I use my influence on the most, then, is the military, at least in the beginning. I need a larger military because I always play with AI. If you notice right now on this map, there aren't any more AI. Well, that's because we've taken them all over. I had a level two and a couple level ones in here, uh, and we had destroyed all of them. So I needed the influence. Now, if you're not playing with any AI at all, you probably don't need all the military. You know, you could just have a couple military ships to do the, the quests that jump up from the pirates. And that's kind of all that you would need. So if you take a look, you can see I've spent zero on propaganda. All right, I don't spend anything on propaganda at all. I have a total influence of 6,296. So that's quite a bit of influence that I've used. We can see that right now at the end stages, that culture is kind of my highest one right now. I am working on trying to get all the zoo modules, uh, all the museum modules, and all the botanical garden modules. But we can see I use it for the cultural influence. Expansion, notice the islands take influence. So I typically go around and try to take over a bunch of islands. Notice we have commuter piers here too. Uh, commuter piers, they do become unlocked in the uh, engineer phase. And these commuter piers do take 15 influence. So that's why I try again to, to not spend it on the propaganda, but instead I, I use it to make commuter piers and... and increase the size of our nation. Now, something else I want to talk about here too is in the beginning stages of the game, I try to conquer as many islands as I can 
In fact, if we take a look at the Arctic, I did not have to fight anybody in the Arctic. I came to the Arctic first, and then as soon as I was here, I immediately settled all of the islands so nobody else could settle them. Especially when you're playing with AI. This is really, really good. You don't have to deal with anybody in this part of the world. Same thing with the New World. Uh, before the DLC came out, I had all but two islands in the New World. Of course, I didn't make it here before the AI made it here. Uh, so I did have to defeat the AI. You can see that they were living here for a while. But I use my influence for conquering islands. Now, as things go on, there are ways to increase your influence. And it all depends on the DLC now, okay? So those of you that just have the base game DLC, I'm sorry. You probably won't have these items. Now, currently we have the Seat of Power DLC. We also have the High Life DLC, so that way you can build the towers. We also have New World Rising. These three DLCs are going to give you tons of influence from all three of these. Okay, so if you're running into influence issues, and you have a little bit of extra cash that you want to spend in this game, uh, getting these DLCs is great. So Seats of Power, the High Life, and the New World Rising. So what does the Seats of Power do for you? Well, with this palace, you do gain some cool policies with it. If we take a look at the Department of Culture, we can see that one of the policies that we can choose from, of the many here, is to gain influence per module. So for the zoo, for the museum, you can also get 250 attractiveness per completed cultural set. So I mean, you know, we could really have a lot of attractiveness here if we switch to that, but we'd go way negative. So take a look. Let's hit this one. Mine is 997, but our attractiveness is now 22,494 and we just reached a prestige level so because we have a lot of cultural sets that we have achieved so let's go back to the other one so each one of these zoo modules costs 10 so it costs 10 influence per zoo module and with our bonus here it takes 10 away so it's pretty awesome that's why we have uh, all these zoo modules that we've built. Again, mostly because they are free. So that is one way to kind of save on your influence. The next DLC that we talked about was the Skyline uh, DLC. So, yep, so getting these towers, the skyscrapers, uh, definitely, definitely increases your influence, as we showed earlier. This last one is the New World Rising DLC. Which, this DLC was awesome, okay? It gave us a great island here. It gave us a lot of different stuff. It gave us a dam that gives us electricity for free. That's kind of cool. But really, one of the cheesiest things it gave us for influence is this stadium. So we can go to the World Championship here. We can see that, uh, that instead of rewards, it gives us influence. So we just gained 100 influence. Now, it does have a cooldown of about 40 minutes, which is fine. But we just gained 150 influence from that. So that's pretty cool. Now, along with all the influence gains that I've showed you, remember just settling new islands and building settlements on them with a bunch of citizens, that will actually increase your influence. So just keep expanding keep growing and your influence will continue to rise from there all right guys and gals uh, that was basically it on the influence if you guys have any other tips or tricks of uh, what you can do to gain more influence post in the comments let me know but influence is something that we definitely run into especially when we're at war so we need to ensure that we fix the influence problems and that's kind of how I do it. So, all right, guys. Thanks for hanging out. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Take care.